Hello and welcome to the 46 tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to replace a scene. Replace a scene can be useful if you're in a game and you're on the main menu. You click a play button that might take you to a level select or a game screen, sorry about that. And when you go to level select or the game screen you no longer want the main menu to exist because it's generally static. And instead of popping and pushing a scene, you just do the replace a scene function which will essentially do all that functionality for you. This tutorial seems you've done tutorial 45, if you haven't there will be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there will be a link in the description to the source code produced from this particular tutorial. And just one other note, if you do have any questions feel free to comment or message us in any capacity. And it doesn't have to be about Cocos 2DX JavaScript, it can be about Cocos 2DX C++ or Cocos 2D iPhone or even general programming question and if we can actually help we will help if we can't then we will let you know um, but yeah so just message us if you have any issues at all in any capacity so let's just go and open the tutorial or the project from tutorial 45 it's in there open it up Okay, you want to go to the My App. Let's scroll down, and at the moment, what we've got is we're pushing the scene in the My App, and in the new scene, we are popping the scene. We're changing the My App, I mean, the new scene in the moment, but first of all, I'm changing My App. We want to change the push scene to replace scene, so replace scene. And that is fun, but we want to make one small change. We do initialize underscore my app equals false. We wanted to put this to false because when we come back to here, this scene won't actually exist anymore because we're technically pushing and popping it. We're getting rid of this scene with the replace scene function. So when it gets into the on enter, we want it to be false so we can reinitialize everything. We want to do a similar thing in the new scene actually we won't we'll run this first and we'll, I'll show you what happens because it's obviously useful to see errors as well so you can tackle them when you come across them okay here we go once I click the play button it will replace the scene this current one the my app scene with the new scene play there you go but when I click the go back it's gonna pop the scene it's popped the scene but because there's no scene underneath it it's just blank so hence this issue so we're gonna copy and paste this code into the new scene file so here we're gonna replace new scene with my scene and we're gonna put initialize not my app but initialize new scene to false, so initialize new scene. Finally, let's just sort out the formatting. Ugh. Let's do it this way instead. Click play, and then click play, click go back, click play, click go back. I'm just going to show you the problem if I were to comment out initialized my app equals false in the original scene, which is the my app scene. So click play, click go back. It's no longer there anymore because obviously it's not re initializing itself. So that's obviously a huge issue. But if we put that back in, it just works click play it, that goes to the new scene click go back it goes to the my scene which is in the my app.js so you can click play click go back so you can use this to create some menus from a main menu to a level select or a settings menu some games have a built-in setting menu that sort of pops out from the left or the settings are literally just on the main menu because they usually just turn audio on and off just 
basic functionality like that and mobile games for the most part will only have basic functionality so you probably can get away with just putting it on the main menu also this could obviously be used for if you're on a poor screen and you want to go back to a main menu or if you're on the game screen and it's game over it will take you to the game over screen the game screen no longer needs to exist or if you're on the game screen and you've won the game for example it might take you to some sort of congratulations screen therefore the game screen still no longer needs to exist because you'll replace the scene go to maybe the game over or the game winning screen and replace the scene again when you maybe retry, replay or go back to level select or main menu but that's the replace the scene function in the next tutorial we'll be looking at scene transitions just to make the actual menu a lot better thanks for watching